In this video, I'll show you how to use the Calculator's Financing Scenario Builder. To start on the landing page, all you do is enter a property price. Remember that's in the top toolbar here in case you want to change it, and you can name your scenario anything you want. Probably the most straightforward financing scenario is a bank mortgage. So for that, you're just gonna add a regular old loan. And the first thing you do when you add that loan, or the first thing you'll notice might be this warning here. This is just telling you that with most bank loans, you're gonna need a down payment, some kind of cash down payment. So if you open this up, it takes away that warning. And you could either enter your down payment as a cash total or a percentage. And that's a percentage of the property price. So say you need a 20% down payment, that'll calculate that 40,000 for you. So back to the loan box here, there's a lot of different options you can have because there's a lot of different types of loans out there, a lot of ways that you can negotiate with the lender to change your terms. But the most simple would just be to mortgage the rest of the property price at a flat 4.5% interest rate, which you could just change here, say you've got a 4% rate over a 30-year term. So here, if you scroll down, you'll see that the calculator is also warning you that usually there are closing costs associated with, with purchasing property. We'll just enter a term there. It's also usually property taxes and property insurance that's usually built into your loan. So if you scroll down, the calculator will give you the results of that financing scenario. It'll tell you how much you'd be paying over the amortization period. And remember, we had a 30-year amortization. And it breaks that down between the taxes you pay, the interest you pay, and the principal you pay, your original down payment, and also your insurance payments. And this other chart is showing you what your monthly payment would be over the course of that amortization period, again, 30 years, and what each of those monthly payments consist of. So now, again, this is a pretty simple scenario. And so the payments don't change over time. But you could have something a lot more complicated. In order to keep this one here and, and compare it to a new scenario, we can use this switch scenarios function in the top right corner and build a new scenario. So we can name this one something else, or you could keep it the same and maybe it's just with a different property price. So there's a lot of different ways that you could use this to compare. So now if we build a different kind of scenario, say, say it's very similar. Say we're gonna do a, again, a 10% down payment. We're gonna do the rest, which is 198,000. And we'll say that we got a slightly worse rate this time, a 4.5% interest rate rather than a 4%. Same thing in closing costs. So if you go down again, it was a simple scenario. But now you can use the calculator to compare the first one versus the second one. And you can see what a difference one half percentage on your interest rate makes over time and also month to month. So that's just an introduction to how you could use the scenario builder to build different scenarios and how you can compare them across either different properties or different um, financing structures for the same property. And in future videos, we'll take a look at some of the other aspects of this scenario builder.